New Minnesota twin Ryan Jensen recently claimed off waivers. This guy's got MLB stuff and California Penal League command. We're going to take a look at a very representative outing of his uh, from June. You see here with the Cubs AAA team. Here he is facing Lucan Baker. Uh, comes in with one out and a man on second. Tries to clean this up. Baker was the International League MVP. Made his Major League debut with the Cardinals this past season. Uh, gets ahead of him kind of as a waste curveball there, really featuring the curve early, and then hits him with that 96-mile-per-hour fastball up to strike him out. A really good, really good at-bat there for Jensen. Uh, things didn't go as well from here. Gets ahead 1-2 on the next guy, but ends up walking him. Um, you know, I guess, you know, not a big deal. First base is open. You've got two outs if you don't want to challenge a guy. Uh, but a couple of these pitches here, Jensen didn't really seem pleased with where they ended up. Uh, kind of continuing on, he 2-1 count. He hits the next guy in the ribs. That's got to feel uh, real great, 96 in the ribs to load the bases. So uh, this outing starts off great with Baker, strikeout, but then he loads up the bases here with two down. Uh, continuing on here, does kind of get back to the fastball, 97. And that's legit. That's a... Uh, you know, we've got the baseball savant data. That's the tracking in these AAA uh, stadiums now. These are legit readings. 97, again, consecutive 97-mile-per-hour fastballs. Just stops messing around. But you can see Jensen, even though he got, gets out of the jam without giving up a run, isn't pleased with himself at how that went. He does stay out there for another inning, and that's a big difference between Major League Baseball and Minor League Baseball. I don't think if this was a Major League game, he would have gone back out there and the very next pitch, the very first pitch of the eighth inning, hits another guy. Uh, so, yeah, the command for Jensen is a huge problem. Uh, that guy gets good revenge by stealing second base. Uh, Jensen then walks the next guy on four pitches. So, again, this is another scenario in which no way in a major league game is he probably still out there. Former Twins great Taylor Motter up next. Uh, and he gets him to pop out a huge out, you know, obviously with no outs, two men on. Nobody can advance. It's a, a nice pitch, a, a curveball he gets a pop up on. Uh, continuing on in this inning, this is one of those where, you know, you wish it was hit harder. You know, ironically, you wish you would have hit that one harder. You could have got a double play on that one since it was kind of a slow roller. They only get the one out. That had to be a little bit frustrating for Jensen. You know, he's out there battling, gets a good outcome, but it can't quite end the inning. Falls behind 3-0 against Juan Yepes, another guy who's uh, got some major league experience, taking all the way, uh, battles back. You know, consecutive strikes, he's in this thing. Yepes fouls one off. So kind of, you know, is he going to complete the turnaround? No, not quite. Can't get that fastball in the zones. That had to be a little bit disappointing too. So he's got a couple of outcomes in a row where he's not real happy with himself. Luke and Baker, again, uh, he had like an 1,100 OPS in the International League last year in AAA. Falls behind him 2-0. This is the guy he started this outing with a strikeup out on. Kind of composes himself here. They know that Baker's probably kind of looking, got that curveball in the back of his mind, trying to battle back, even the count. Strike one, strike two, and, you know, B Baker taken all the way with how, how bad Jensen's command has been. You understand that. But evens it up. Back in this thing. You know, kind of composing himself, bases juice, two down. Baker's on that curveball. He knew it was coming. Fouls that one off, but they go back to the fastball and catch him off guard for another strikeout. Jensen, once again, he gets out of this jam as well. So no runs in this outing, but he, you can tell he's not real happy with himself, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. This is a guy who doesn't have good command, but I don't get the sense that he's like accepting the fact that walks are okay or something. Uh, but here's some of the baseball savant data from this outing. Uh, 97.5 miles per hour was his max. He was only in the zone on 38% of his pitches on this outing. I don't super trust the uh, the pitch type breakdowns right now for AAA, but th those things I do trust. This guy was a big-time prospect, a former first-round pick. You saw there some of the rankings in the Cubs systems from Baseball America. And he had big-time control problems at Fresno State early in his collegiate career. Uh, but clean those up. You see, he went down to a 2.4 K walk per nine, excuse me, in 2019, right before he was a first-round pick. Kind of started it off, too, and in 2021, the walks were pretty manageable in the minors, but then they've gotten out of control. I've highlighted last season, 7.6 walks per nine. You know, but and he transitioned to the bullpen as well that year. 
uh, last year. So something to keep in mind as well. This guy isn't very new to relief pitching. Uh, but anyway, there's Ryan Jensen. I'm guessing the Twins would love to try to pass him through waivers unclaimed so he gets off the 40-man roster but in the organization. Whether or not they can pull that off, I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, in the organization, they claimed him off waivers. So Ryan Jensen, uh, there he is, right-handed reliever. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll talk again soon.